Yo, what's up everybody? Jumping here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a lot of XP in Final Fantasy 15. This is definitely the best technique for leveling up. I'm going to be showing you two techniques. One's going to be a bounty and the other one's going to be experience magic. Now experience magic is definitely the best way, but this bounty is not too bad either because you can get about 8,000 experience every time you do this bounty and you could just keep redoing it as long as it is daytime. That's the only thing about the bounty. You have to do it during the day. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you where I'm at on the map to get this bounty. This is the long white rest area. This is the second place in the game that you have to go to deliver the package from Hammerhead. So it's just south of Hammerhead. And in this place, there's going to be a bounty. It's called When It Rains in the Drylands or In the Drylands, It Rains Spines. That's the name of it. I'm going to go grab it right now because I actually don't have it. But this bounty, you're going to have to fight three cactus enemies. And when you do that, at the end, you should get about 8,000 experience. Now, fighting these enemies is really not all that difficult. I mean, they are somewhat strong and everything, but they hit really hard. They will one-shot you a whole bunch. So just watch out for that. Make sure you bring some potions to just revive yourself really quickly. You don't really need Phoenix Downs or anything, just normal potions. So that if you do get hit, you can just use a potion right away. And they are not that strong in terms of HP. And once you knock them down and they become vulnerable, you can just wail on them and they should die fairly quickly. There's also another one of these things that will randomly spawn. And he spawns a little bit north of Hammerhead. Now it's just one and he's not that strong so you should be able to kill him a lot easier. But the big problem with him is that you have to do it once a day and it's only during the daytime. And he's going to spawn somewhere in this area, but it's a little tiny cactus guy. So if you spot him, go and kill him and you should get 8,000 experience for just killing the one enemy. So that is another thing that's really, really nice. Now, the experience magic. Now, that's actually where this shit gets really crazy. OK, experience magic is amazing. But the main thing you're going to need is materials so that you can actually do it. And I'm talking about the base coins and rare coins. And there's a couple other items. Now the thing I will tell you is that rare coins are actually somewhat common with the survival skill. So if you can level up your survival skill to maybe level 10, I don't really even know what level you need it to be to get rare coins, but I get a lot of rare coins all the time. I've done this like three times now and I still have like 20 rare coins just because when I'm killing like small enemies, for some reason a lot of times Gladius will pick up rare coins. So that is something to consider. I also made a video about how to level up your survival skill really easily where you don't actually have to do anything you just have to keep your console on for long periods of time and run around in circles okay so let me go ahead and show you a couple other things because there's going to be a couple experience boosters that's going to help a lot now early in the game the best meal to actually eat for experience is going to come from the Wiz Chocobo post. Now you should be able to find this place no problem. If you want to rent Chocobos you have to come here so you probably will come here just to do that. And eventually you're going to get some side quests like Chocobo side quests to help Chocobos. And by doing that you will unlock a sandwich that will give you 50% more XP when you actually have that effect. So it's a really really good meal. And the thing about that as well is that anytime you need it, you can just come here and buy it. It's really cheap. It's like 1100 So that's not bad at all. Now, later in the game, there's another meal that you can just buy. It costs like 8000 to buy. And I believe it's in Chapter 9 where you can actually get it. But that one will give you 100% more XP. So waiting until later in the game is a good idea for this just so you get more XP. But me personally, I don't really care. I just want as much XP as I can get early in the game. And I don't really care about waiting. Also, with the cooking skill, eventually at level 9 with the cooking skill, you will unlock a recipe that will also give you 100% XP. But the ingredients for that is really, really hard to come by. So that is also something to consider. I would say that the ingredients with the cooking recipe that you learn at level 9 is really not worth it because it's so hard to get. So let me go ahead and show you like what you need to do to make this spell. I would recommend putting all three elements into it. So you want fire, lightning, and ice. And then you're going to need certain items. Now these items can be somewhat rare, but if you know what you're doing, then you should have no problem finding them. Now the first item is going to be the base coin. You need about 25 of these to really make it work. There are probably videos out there that will show you how to farm these because they are scattered around the world and they do respawn. So that is something to consider. Now the one I like more is going to be the rare coin because with this one I get this a lot from the survival skill. 
If you can level up your survival skill, then you should have no problem finding a whole bunch of these just randomly by killing enemies. Now there are a couple other ones that will also give you the experience bonus level, but they're not as good just because they seem a lot rarer. At least I don't have that many of them. Now for the rare coin, you only need about 8 of these because with 8, you're going to get experience bonus level 96 compared to putting 9 into it which is going to give you 99, but it's only three freaking levels. So honestly, I don't think it's worth the coin in my opinion. So I only ever use eight, although I have one right now that is experienced bonus level 99. So we can go ahead and experiment with this and see how it works. So I'm gonna go ahead and craft a spell now, and I'm going to go ahead and equip the level 99 one, and we'll see how this goes. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. I'm going to throw that on him. And what you're gonna wanna do with this, when you cast this spell, Try to go ahead and cast it on something somewhat powerful that you're not going to one shot. So it's best to do a bounty when you are going to go ahead and use this spell. So I would recommend doing in the dry lands it rains spines because this is a great bounty for also getting a whole bunch of experience. Now the next thing I'm going to show you guys is going to be my accessories. I have two right now and this accessory is called the Mugle Charm. There's actually multiple of these. You can find them primarily in dungeons. But I have two right now, so I'm going to show you where I found these two because what they do, they give you 20% more XP and they do stack. So you can put two on your main character or you can put three on if you have the three accessories perk. So that is something to consider as well. But I will show you where I found the two that I have right now. And like I said, there's other ones you can find in other dungeons. And there might be a couple of them that you can get just from doing random stuff. I'm not really sure. Now this dungeon down here, this dungeon is only accessible at night, so if you're going to try to come here, it needs to be night. This is a really hard dungeon though. It's level 55 and it will kick your ass, so be prepared before you come here. If you don't feel like you can do it, fuck it, don't worry about it. You don't really need the charm all that bad. The next one is going to be up here, I believe. No, it's actually not that one. It's another one. I have to find it on the map. It's right here actually this is the one now this is another dungeon it is somewhat difficult i believe the enemies in here there's like necromancers and they're like level 41 and they can be kind of annoying but i do think this is where i got my other one i'm not 100 on any of this guys because it was a while ago where i found these accessories but i know for a fact that i got one of these from this place and i believe i got the other one from this place so if you guys want to go ahead and try this out and get these items by all means, go ahead and do it if you feel like you are powerful enough to go ahead and clear out that dungeon and get the item. Alright guys, so I'm going to cut this ahead. I'm going to go to where these enemies are and I will show you how this actually works. So, I will see you guys in a moment. Alrighty guys, well I'm almost there. And remember, this bounty can only be done during the daytime. And also, if you don't actually have the materials or whatever for making these spells, you can always just farm these guys because they are worth 8,000 every time you do this. And they don't really take all that long to kill because you need to attack them until they finally will fall down. And once they fall down, you'll take them out super easily. Okay, remember, they are very powerful though and they will hit you fairly hard. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cast my spell right now. And once I cast it, I'm just going to run away and get out of the red area so that the battle will end. And I'm going to go ahead and get experience for casting that spell. Literally, you get the experience just for casting a spell. You don't actually have to kill anything with it. So it's pretty crazy. Now I'm going to use the second one real quick. And I kind of want to see what is the difference. I wasn't really paying attention to how much experience I got right there. But you guys watching the video can kind of see it for yourself. So just pay attention maybe. And you can see the difference between level 96 with 8 coins compared to level 99 with 9 coins. So once your spell recharges, you're just going to simply run back in and then cast your spell and run away again. And boom, more experience for you. And eventually, once I'm out of these spells, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kill these guys, and that should also get me 8,000 experience. So you can get a whole bunch of experience. Remember, I have right now 10 castings. I have 10 of this spell. And if you guys do want to, you can go for some perks. They're very, very expensive, but you can actually get up to 7 castings with this spell. You just have to do it in the magic tree. But the first bonus uh, casting that you're going to get is going to cost you 333 AP. And the second one is 999. So that's up to you if you actually want to go for this. 
because you will get two extra castings, but at the same time, like, I don't know. I just think that's a little bit ridiculous to charge you that much AP to get the bonus castings. But that's pretty much it, guys. This is what you do. You just want to try to make these if you can. You can also farm these guys just for a whole bunch of XP. And then eventually what you're going to do once you're done and you have all the XP that you possibly need, then just simply go to the expensive hotel that will cost you 10,000 down here and you will get double of whatever your built up XP is. And I'm talking about like you can get a million XP super easy just doing this. In fact, I'm probably going to like walk away with almost a million once I'm done with this. But you guys get the idea on what you need to do here. I really hope this has helped. If it has, will you please like the video for me? Be sure to subscribe. And I really do hope that everyone has a very nice day. And peace. So